what's up everybody welcome back to our channel hey if you're new here please click that like and subscribe don't forget that bell notification this way you get notified every time i upload a video well we're on location we're down at the daytona international speedway and i have space balls and we had did some upgrades we upgraded the uh the windshield and we went to a carbon fiber front fender isn't that awesome but we are at the Advan Black display. Spaceballs is here today. We'll be here next Saturday as well. There's Eddie from LED and Bags, guys. Let's give him a shout out. Check his channel out. It's got some good information on it. What's up, Eddie, man? What's going on, man? Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for bringing this beauty by. You did did a good job on her, so, man, she's good, man. Yeah, right on, brother. Right on, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, LEDs and Bags on YouTube. Absolutely, guys. He puts out some great videos. Um, he's a dealer for Avan Black. He's got his own shop, and he's he's making it happen. Go ahead and check him out, man, and give him a like and subscribe. I tell you, you won't be disappointed. And if you are, ask YouTube for a refund. All right, we're gonna go around and see what we can find, and you know, make things happen. So it's day two for me here at the Daytona Bike Week. First time today, this year at the International Speedway. So we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, guys, I made it to Royal Enfield, and I don't know how many guys like or dislike the Royal Enfields. Personally, I like them. They're a very basic motorcycle. They are kind of a 50, 60 style with today's technology. I mean, really, let's take a look at this bike. Look at that. Brand new motorcycle, but it's a very 50, 60 style motorcycle, which I really dig. And then you have the new, which is all blacked out with remote reservoir shocks and a two-cylinder. I mean, really, how can you not like the Royal Enfields? I love them. I think they're great. Um, I'm going to try and get my hands on one of them soon because I would love that. And just to tool around on it. We'll see what happens.
go guys we are at the performance hangover show here at orlando harley davidson <laughs> what a great day um the bike is at suwiki speed plant they asked for it to be there yesterday at the hardcore cycle show so i was like yeah no problem find a nice place to park the bike that's easy um and a lot of fun so time for a little libation and uh some beverages and then you know get on with the show Hey guys, I ran into Josh here from fucking Hooligan Culture. Yeah. You gotta check them out. What's your website, man? Uh, so Instagram is the best way to contact us. Yep. Ruby, Instagram at Hooligan Culture. That's it. That's simple, man. They're here yes, at sir. the Performance Hangover Show. We got some hooligan stuff going on. Yeah, they boy. gotta have Hooligan Culture here. Yes, sir. You know, so you do basically shirts and hats and stickers. What else you guys do? You do anything else? Uh, yeah, we do a lot of events. We got a lot of couple guys that do um, like you can hear them right now. They're doing stunts, so we do events where we put on shows. Uh, we just did a bike show down in Fort Lauderdale where we had a bunch of trophies, a little stunt show and stuff like that. So you just don't promote hooligan culture. You guys are in it all day, every day, baby. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. All right, guys, if you get a chance. Go to Instagram, look up hooligan culture. You won't be disappointed because you know if you're gonna be a hooligan. Be a hooligan. Thank you, buddy. What's up, everybody? Hey, I found Jay from Left Lane Syndicate. Can't fucking beat him, man. One and only, the OG. Here he is, man. What's going on with Left Lane? Good to see you, man. Ah, uh, just loving the fucking Florida weather. We're at the performance hangover show today. We're gonna give away a sign today. There's a stunt show. Hundreds of bikes are down here. It's the place to be. Exactly. You know, there was a performance show yesterday. Yep. Uh, at my destination Daytona. You guys were there. I was there. And now today, down in sunny Orlando. Finally, some sun in Florida. Absolutely. They say, come absolutely. to Florida. Sunny Florida. There was no sun until today. Great. 45 mile ride. Super awesome time. Too. Yep. So you guys are online. Yep. You can find us at leftlanesyndicate.com, and then we're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all at Left Lane Syndicate. I will definitely link all those in the description. Absolutely. But guys, if you want some Left Lane merch, like I'm wearing, like he's wearing, like our camera guy here is wearing, Jake, go over there, get them, or if you're going to be at a show, buy directly from us. Heck yeah. What's our, your show prices, schedule? Prices are always better at the show. This will be our last show in Florida, and our next show coming up will be... Uh, sometime next month, we'll let everybody know. Okay. You guys awesome. going to be in the Nanny or TMMR? Uh, we're going to try for TMMR. Right on. And we're going to try to do Teletown Custom, or doing Teletown Custom Show. Uh, we're trying to hit more free California this year and a couple other big shows. Yeah, right on, man. So, guys, look up Left Lane, give them a like, follow their channel, and definitely buy their stuff because yeah. you can't go wrong. The t-shirts are comfortable. The signs are awesome. I mean, come on. The planes are crime. I got Dr. Harley. Today's a whole nother day. 
Hope you liked everything from the Performance Hangar Show. Well, today we are at OF Performance. That's right. Well, because of all the hooligan stuff and fun stuff going on, we're here getting a new back tire. I planned on being here for a new back tire since the beginning, but here is OF Performance. You can see Spaceballs is right there on the lift. They're gonna do a, a Shinko back tire for me. All right, guys, more to come. Doug's not here yet, but we'll get it going. All right, guys, OF Performance really hooked me up with the back tire. I paid full price for it, but it did a great job. If you need it, if you're in the Florida, Georgia area, or if you're down here during bike week, any one of them, you need any services, tires, brakes, oil changes, things like that, come here to OF Performance. You can't miss them. They're across the street from the Beaver Bar, right? Yep, and Boot Hill. And Boot Hill, so you can't miss them. So this is Mike, everybody. What's up, guys? He's he's running the joint, right? Yep, that's right. So I'm, I'm the master tech here at OF Performance. Look, we're a veteran-owned and operated facility. Our thing here is horsepower, horsepower accessories, revolution engines, cryo heat transmissions, chain drive conversions. We do it all. And I do all the dyno tuning right here in our own facility. We also do in-house powder coating. So if you're in the area right here in Daytona Beach across the street from the Beaver Bar and Boot Hill and down the street from the Iron Horse, want to stop by and say what's up, we'd love to help you guys out. All right, everybody. You know where to come when you're in the Daytona area or Florida, Georgia area, you need some stuff done. Definitely come down here. Uh, Doug is the owner. Say hello to Doug. Definitely say hello to Mike. Kick him in the shin. <laughs> Tell Mike sent you after you kicked him in the shin. But no, seriously, come down here and see Mike and Doug. They do some great work. I couldn't be happier. So big shout out to OF Performance. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here at the one and only Corbin here on Route 1 in Ormond Beach. That's right, we're at Corbin Seats. This is the last upgrade I'm doing to Spaceball while I'm down here. We've done a lot already. Now this is going to be the... Fista Resistance is a custom seat, I guess you could say, but we're getting a, a custom seat made and we're gonna rock on and I'm gonna show you the materials I'm gonna choose. All right, guys, one of the nice things is it's air conditioned in here. <laughs> but I picked out my uh, samples and I'm gonna get to it and I'll show you what they are. You're gonna be, I'm, I'm impressed, I can tell you that. But here is the basket weave pattern that's going to go on this part of the seat and then all right guys i found it it's kind of hard to see but it is a black carbon fiber which is going to go on the back of the seat or on the sides i should say and i'll show you the seat that i chose so the, here is the seat the double stitching is going to be in gold right along the side on both sides it's going to say space ball and on the back it's going to say Dr. Harley but we made this seat here a little wider and we're bringing this out a little deeper so it's going to be a lot more comfortable seat than the uh, saddleman that I have so there you go guys they say about four to five weeks for delivery I'm saying more like six to eight that's me all right man Stay tuned, we got more of Daytona action to come here in Daytona. So hang out, we'll have some fun. All right, I found Andy here who works at Corbin and is one of the, the sales and fit specialists, correct? That's right, yeah, that's me. All right, so guys, if you want a seat and you're in Daytona or California, right? I'm actually in Daytona. Yeah, in Ormond Daytona. Beach, Florida. Or in Florida, yeah. You wanna check out Corbin, come on down, check them out, they're here in Ormond Beach right on Route 1. Check out Andy, he will fit you for the right seat. Now, why should somebody pick Corbin over LaPera or Saddleman or any other seat out there? Uh, well, I'm familiar with like some uh, Saddleman stuff. They have some really cool looking products. I ran the step up seat for a while and I will admit they are really cool looking. However, it's not good for comfort and touring, at least from my experience. I am a heavier guy. Um, if you do like stunt riding, step up seat's cool. However, Corbin's main focus is maximum comfort. We do combine a little bit of comfort and style. Um, so if we do have some more stylish options, I would definitely recommend go for the comfort route. So if you want, if you're someone that's going across country, we got those bulky setups that could be maximum comfort. You can do 
custom build. We have 60 plus different materials and colors you can choose from. And depending on your bike, we have quite a few options. See, guys, they even offer heated. Do you have cold seats as well? Yeah, we do offer fire and ice seats for mainly the touring bikes, such as like Harley baggers, Indian baggers, and then even the, the newer gold wings. So there you go. Corbin has you set. I remember when I had a uh, FJ600, I had a his and her gunfighter Corbin seat on there. Yeah. And that's going back, the bike was new in 85. Yeah. Before you were born. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, if you get a chance, come on down to Corbin, check them out, talk to them. Low pressure, they don't pressure you into buying, they'll answer your questions, they'll even work up a quote for you, and if you don't do it, they're not heartbroken over it, trust me. So, more fun stuff, places to visit here in beautiful, sunny Daytona, Florida, finally. It's two days now I've had since I've been here uh, of sun and fun. All right, guys. Well, guys, we're here at Iron Horse. We got a few people with us. We got the ever famous Dallas Iron Butterfly, NC Crimson guy, and I think that's it. Nope, one more little guy, Mr. Tweedledee. We're here down here, beautiful Daytona for the 83rd running of the legendary bike week here in Daytona. As I always said, but we're now we're out and about. We're at the Iron Horse from here. We're gonna go to Boot Hill, uh, Beaver Bar, and all that. I'm gonna try and capture all that for you. And just so if you're not here, you're here. You know what I'm saying? So. Guys, that was a small taste of the Iron Horse Saloon here in, uh, I guess you say it's Mormon Beach, which is right outside of Daytona. But how to get down here to the Iron Horse, Boot Hill Saloon, Beaver Bar, and all the others, it's just a few miles south on Route 1 from the destination Daytona. And if you're down here, this is a must stop, see, check everything out. You'll, trust me, You'll have fun. They got some great country bands over at the Iron Horse too. But I'll be showing you around Boot Hill next. Because that's where we're headed. And hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. Oh guys, check this out. I found a car in motorcycle parking. It's not a motorcycle. I don't care what you say. It's a car and i don't hate on anybody for having what they want but don't think it's something it's not because it's definitely not a motorcycle it's definitely a car so you know check this out you're not gonna, you're gonna be surprised when i show you look at that car what it is it's a car i found those dino guys all right guys sorry that car interrupted me with those dino guys great dudes if you ever get a chance check them out they do a lot of great stuff with um with building bikes and they post all their dino sheets it, it's amazing it really is you should check them out if you get a chance all right guys so that's basically it for boot hill saloon there really isn't a lot here but I got myself a new helmet. Uh, needed one, gotta replace them every three to five years. Mine's about four, so it was time. But they got people here doing audio, pinstriping, and all that. All right guys, we're gonna walk into the Broken Spoke Saloon. I'm gonna show you around in there what's, what they have. There's music, so I'm gonna end up having to remove the audio from that. Sorry, but I have to.
right guys and that's it for broken spoke so now you got all the places to hang out here on route one and daytona for daytona bike week man there's so much to see around here so much to come you really should come down and check this place out all right guys we're here at top gun for their performance show and i see doug from of performance warming up you can hear it in the background we're trying to get some of it on camera doing his drifting shit so, this is I'll tell you florida's where it's at for uh stunt riding and for the uh the drifters i mean there's something else but let's see if we can get him to really do something special here Up at the Cackleberry Cramp Campground, campground, and I, I just just started drinking it, and you know, boards suck. I mean, really, they're tough today. We're here at the Cackleberry Campground, and look who's here: the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Gremlin. <laughs> hey, folks, come on down. Not only do we have Gremlin here, we got Mr. Tweedle D in the house, Mr. MC Crimson Glide. Dallas and Iron Butterfly and Big Bike 135 and we got Jake from H2 Performance here. So we just got here. It's just past six o'clock. Come on down. We're doing well. Come on down. We're going to see this afterwards. So yep, he's already looking for shot girls. Look guys, you can find everybody, anybody here at Daytona for Bike Week. Look who it is. It's Mr. GQ. Yes, sir. The leader of the Peace Army in the building live in the flesh at Daytona International Speedway with the one and only Doc Harley in the house representing. That's it, guys. If you don't know who GQ is, I don't know if you've been doing some part time or <laughs> living in a cave or something like that, but I will link his channel in the description. Check his channel out. Does some good stuff. Harley hooked him up with a bike to play with for a little while. Just for a little, little, little bit, a little while. A little, little while. Was it, what, is it everything you say it is? It is. I, I want. If you, if you got it, get it. That's all I was saying. You got it, get it. If you ain't got it, you'll be all right. But if you got it, you get it. So in other words, ride your own ride. If you can get it, get it. But if not, get it. don't sweat it. Ride your own ride. Ride your own ride. Ride your own ride. All right, guys, more to come here at Daytona International Speedway. This is my second Saturday here during the week. So make sure you guys, if you come here to Daytona for Bike Week, you got to go to Destination Daytona. you got to come to Daytona International Speedway. Also, the Capitary Campground and Cabbage Patch. And, of course, the ever-famous Main Street. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. All right, guys, we're here at the Harley-Davidson uh, display here at the raceway at Daytona and they have on display the new tobacco fade paint job and I can tell you it's awesome let me tell you let me show you I'm really digging that that logo I'm really digging the paint scheme on this this part of the enthusiast collection for Harley Davidson for the 2024 model year. I'm really digging it. It's in the Lowrider S. They have it here on a uh, Ultra Limited. Look at this. And of 
course on the tri-glide. Really, really nice job with the paint for the Enthusiast Collection for 2024. Hey, tell. So when it is this? You guys tell me what you think of that. I think it's awesome. But it's just me. You'd let me know what you think. I really like it. It. That's going to do it for the 83rd running of the Daytona Bike Week. Always legendary, always a great time here. As you can see, I'm back at the Advan Black booth and I've had a great time down here this year. And you got Eddie here with LED and bags, an authorized Advan Black dealer. If you definitely want to get some parts, get in contact Eddie. I'll link his uh, website and his YouTube channel down in the description below. All right, everybody, until the next time, you live the best life you can. Ride often and ride hard. Like and subscribe.